Hey ladies, it's your girl Pretty Rachel. Today we are here to talk about heat damage. So a few weeks ago I took a trip and I wanted my hair straightened. I was feeling myself, I wanted to see my inches, you know, I was just, I was feeling myself, okay? So I decided to go ahead, flat iron my hair. It had been months since my last flat iron. So I did it and unfortunately I got heat damage. Um, the areas of my concern were back here, these three strands, I feel, not three, but like, you know, these few curl pieces. And there was, there were a couple up here as well. Um, I blame this, okay? This is the devil. Do not use this. I bought this, um, for my trip because of the cute little size. I was just like, oh, perfect. I'll just take this on my trip and... You know, if I need to use my flat iron, cool. I should have just stuck with my old faithful, the, the Tresemme. But I didn't, for whatever freaking reason, I wanted to try something different, tried this, and it let me down. Um, so like I said, it gave me heat damage. Um, I didn't want to cut off my ends, so I was like, well, let me just try to repair them and find something that'll help, you know, recover my ends. So I was originally going to use this, the Afrogy two-step treatment. Um... But I just didn't feel like doing it, you guys. It's just, it's time consuming and I was just lazy and I wanted something that was quicker. And yeah, so I wanted to give this a try, Olaplex. Um, I've heard good things about it. I wanted to see if it would work. It says just saturate your hair with it. Um, so that's exactly what I did. I sectioned my hair in four different sections. Um, threw this on after I rinsed my hair because I had some product in it. So I rin rinsed my hair off first and then I threw this on my hair. And it says to leave it on for up to 10 minutes minimally, um, or minimum of 10 minutes. But I went longer than that. I actually slept with this on because I wanted to, I wanted it to really, really penetrate into my hair shaft. So I slept, kept it on probably eight to 10 hours. Um, and then took a shower, rinsed it out. And these are my results. And I am not mad at it. Um, it says to use it two to three times a week until you get your um, desired results. Um, so yeah, the like I said, this was the area of concern, which this one is still kind of acting funky. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that one's still acting funky. <laughs> but um, this one I can see a difference on. It looks like it's trying to get there. It's trying. So we'll keep going with it. Today is Friday. I'm going to do another treatment on, let's see, probably Tuesday. And we'll, we'll see what happens. I definitely notice a difference in my roots. I feel like my roots um, are kinkier, if that makes any sense. Like they're soft. Um, my hair is naturally really, really frizzy and curly. And I have to, you know, put product in it and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I just feel like it really took to my roots for whatever reason. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm satisfied with the product. It was about, it was 29 and some change. I mean, for it to be, to me, the lazy route, like I said, because I didn't want to do this whole shabam, um, I think it was worth it. So, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to try it out a couple more days and see what happens. And um, just try to revive my curls back here without needing to cut them off or anything hey guys so here i am sh attempting to show you this olaplex bottle and for whatever reason was out of focus but um here i am again showing you the heat damaged ends of my hair um there was a you know a couple in the back there is a couple up here in the front um yeah so we're just assessing the situation here and i'm showing you all the craziness <laughs> that's in my hair okay so here i am just separating my hair um i end up sectioning it into four equal parts i like to work in sections it's easier it makes sense yeah so there's that uh that one piece in particular that was really giving me the issues so you guys this stuff smells really good by the way it smelled amazing like i can't even describe it but it's really soft and it's just a really pretty scent i didn't imagine it to smell that way um so yeah i'm just saturating my hair here and then um putting it into twist uh that way it's you know nice and separated 
And here I am going in again with the next section, just really working it in there and enjoying the scent of this product. You guys, this stuff was really, really moisturizing and it had so much slip. Like I did not expect this much slip on that product. Like I just thought, like I knew it wasn't a protein treatment, but I just didn't think it would give me that much slip. You know, it was just, it felt like butter, honestly, going on my hair. So yeah, I really love that aspect because we know how detrimental it can be to not have something to just slide through your freaking curls. Okay, so yeah, this product did that. It was like butter. So here I am just doing the last section, putting it on there, slathering it up. <laughs> I was really heavy handed on that section because that's where um, I have a lot of heat damage. So once again, just putting this into a twist and I went in with a little bit more and made sure I got my edges and just really, really worked that product in there. I then just took all four of those twists, rolled them up in a little loose bun and clipped them away and I threw on a shower cap so that I could go to bed and um, to hold the shower cap in place I pulled out my satin scarf and tied it up and went to bed you guys I was excited to see the results the next morning so yeah Well, that is the end of the video. Hope you liked my review and good luck to you if you have any heat damage or curls that you're trying to revive. I say give it a shot. All right, take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks.